Let's check in one more time now with Charles Jaco for the latest on the shuttle launch. Charles? Well, Bobby, it's still at T-minus nine minutes and holding. There was some expectation that they were going to resume the count shortly. Right now, you're taking a look at the uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Uh, but they're polling of various range officers now. The wind has died down and other problems come up. Somebody sailed a ship into the range safety area, and until that ship gets out of there, they're not going to launch. So uh, it's T-minus nine and holding, but they may resume the count any moment now. Reed? The breaking news. I'm Charles Jaco, CNN, reporting from Atlanta. Right now, we uh, are just a couple of minutes away from launch of the shuttle Columbia. They have been go for launch. The crosswinds have uh, cleared up at the Kennedy Space Center. As you can see from the clock, they are one minute and 32 seconds away from launching the 13th flight of the Space Shuttle Columbia, the 51st shuttle mission overall. This mission has a six-person crew, five U.S. citizens, one Canadian aboard. Their main object will be to launch the Legio satellite, a mirror-covered ball weighing 900 pounds that scientists will use to reflect beams off of and uh, check for possible earthquakes. Now let's listen in to NASA Select as we are in about one minute before the launch of the Space Shuttle Columbia. T-minus one minute and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. <coughs> T minus 31 seconds. Yeah, let's go for auto sequence start. Columbia's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. We have ignition and liftoff of Columbia on an ambitious 10 day international Three engines on Columbia now back at full throttle. Good hydraulic systems, good electrical systems. Altitude at 12 miles. Columbia is nine miles east of the launch pad. Current speed, 2,100 miles an hour. Columbia has now burned more than two and a half million pounds of propellant since its liftoff. Shuttle now weighs less than half of what it did a minute and 50 seconds ago. Flight control is now standing by for burnout and separation of the twin solid rockets. Right now, you can see the two SRBs, the solid rocket boosters, uh, have separated. The shuttle is about 28 to 30 miles up right now. Those SRBs uh, are going to fall into the Atlantic Ocean, cushioned by parachutes, and they will be picked up and be reused. Uh, the large external fuel tank that's strapped to the shuttle is the only non-reusable part of the shuttle. Uh, it provides the fuel in the form of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen for the shuttle. Uh, when it falls off, 
it falls into pieces in the atmosphere over the Indian Ocean. Right now, the shuttle is uh, going in apparently a good trajectory. We end up in engine failure. Three engines continue to operate well at full throttle. Also, Columbia's performance is right on target at this point, altitude 39 miles, downrange from the launch pad 60 miles. Columbia traveling 3,500 miles an hour. As we said, uh, the Columbia is going to be prepared for insertion into orbit for a 10-day mission. Uh, right now, they're in a position where if something went wrong, they could try to land the shuttle at one of two locations in Spain or in Morocco. Uh, once the shuttle is inserted in orbit, the 10-day mission opens up tomorrow with the launch of the Legio satellite, a mirrored ball that the scientists will fire uh, laser beams at from the surface of the Earth and try to deduce whether Earth's crustal plates are moving and thereby perhaps be able to predict uh, earthquakes in the future. We've lost sight of the shuttle now on the NASA cameras. And now it's peeking back through the clouds again. Uh, apparently a successful launch for the shuttle Columbia. This uh, was the 13th launch of the shuttle. When the this uh, was the 13th launch of the shuttle. When the shuttle was first launched it was April of 1981. It was the first flight of the Columbia. This is the oldest vehicle in the uh, system. And for now, it appears as if this was a successful shuttle launch.